Hi, this is Kalyan Kumar and welcome once again to our videos on name reactions. And today we are going to be talking about another reaction called the Bergman cyclization. It's a very beautiful reaction. We have an acyclic molecule which we call as ene diene and this ene diene is cyclizing to give you an aromatic compound so not only is the acyclic molecule becoming a ring a cyclic molecule on top of that it is becoming an aromatic molecule so we'll talk about this in detail in this video stay tuned in and i'll be right back with you Welcome back once again and let's get going with Bergman cyclization. So let's understand what this reaction is all about. The Bergman cyclization, also known as Bergman reaction or Bergman cycloaromatization, is an organic reaction taking place when an ene diene is heated in the presence of a suitable hydrogen donor. So let's understand what is ene diene. Now, as the name itself suggests, it's an alkene and a diene. So we have a triple bond here. We have a triple bond here, and they are sub they are supposed to be conjugated. So if they are conjugated, like they are right now, it's, the conjugation is throughout the molecule you will notice that this pi bond and this pi bond breaks and they join to each other and you get a six-membered ring with alternate pi bonds. And of course, what happens to the unpaired electrons is something that we're going to discuss when we discuss the mechanism, but eventually it becomes an aromatic molecule. So ene diene becomes an aromatic molecule. That's why we call it the Bergman cyclo aromatization that means an acyclic molecule is not only becoming cyclic on top of that it is becoming aromatic so this is the reaction that we're going to talk about and it is one of the most famous reactions in the case of organic chemistry it is a lot of medicinal applications which we'll have a look at the end of this video and it is named after the scientist, the American chemist who discovered this reaction, Robert G. Bergman. So let's see the reaction. In diene, heated to 200 degrees Celsius, about 200 in fact, forms a benzene di radical. Now, how does this form? What happens is the pi bond breaks homolytically. Both carbons get 1-1 one, one electron in both pi bonds. These two join with their pi bond, so you get a six-membered ring. And there is one pi bond still left, that makes it aromatic. And you have two electrons unpaired still left. So now you need a hydrogen donor. And this guy is a very good hydrogen donor. Because what happens is, this is cyclo hexa 1 4 diene 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is the way you number it cyclohexa 1 4 diene is a very good hydrogen donor because once it donates a hydrogen atom and forms a radical this carbon also donates one hydrogen and forms a radical this pi bond forms a pi bond with this electron and the other electron left here forms a pi bond here and this also becomes benzene ring and aromatization is always a reaction which pulls the, for the reaction forward and therefore in this case the fact that this molecule also becomes aromatic is something that helps the reaction move forward easily. So you get benzene ring 
and you get the other molecule also becoming a benzene ring. And the reaction proceeds by the heating process and it forms a short-lived and very reactive parabenzene or benzene diel diradical species. And then it reacts with the hydride, hydrogen donor, not hydride, hydrogen donor, and which itself forms benzene. Now, instead of reacting with hydrogen donor, if we were to react it with CCL4, tetrachloromethane, then since this, this, this doesn't have any hydrogen in it, it is only capable of giving a chlorine atom. So what will eventually happen is you will have two chlorine atoms sitting here. You get one for dichlorobenzene. For that matter, if you treat it with methanol, now one of the carbons here would take this H and this would go and sit with here, but it's a CH3, so it breaks 1H. Or rather, you can assume the CH goes and attacks here, the H goes and attacks here, and the CH2 attacks this, and you get benzyl alcohol. Something like this. So, when quenched with tetrachloromethane, the reaction product is 1,4-dichlorobenzene and with methanol, the reaction product is benzyl alcohol. Now, if the enediene is cyclic, now remember, generally, it is not possible to have an alkyne kind of a triple bond in a ring because it would make the angle 180 being sp hybridized and 180 angle doesn't suit in a ring. But if the ring is big enough, let's, let's say a 10 membered ring, then an ion can exist, a triple bond can exist in the ring, though the ring is going to be pretty much strained. Any ring is going to be strained if the angle required is 180. So what is going to happen is if the in ion that we choose is a 10 membered ring, that would also make the ring more unstable and therefore more reactive. And since the products do not have that much strain, the product is aromatic, it would cause the reaction to move even more quickly, even less vigorously. And in these cases, with the temperature of 37 degrees Celsius itself, the reaction is able to take place. So when the Inion moiety is incorporated into a 10 membered hydrocarbon ring like cyclodeca 3 en 1 5 diene The reaction taking advantage of the increased ring strain in the reactant is possible at the much lower temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. So this is that 10 membered ring with an en diene situation 37 degrees Celsius and reacting with cyclohexa 14 diene you get something like this and of course the benzene ring formed from that 14 cyclohexa diene in recent years this reaction has generated a lot of interest because this has a potential to be used as a cancer drug that means reactions in which a di radical can form it can be used as a potential cancer drug. That is mainly because when you get a di radical, something like this, it is prone to break hydrogen atoms from molecules and form benzene ring. So if it is going to take hydrogen atoms, that means it has to have a molecule which can give you the hydrogen atom. And DNA has the double-stranded helical DNA has bonds joining the bases with a hydrogen bond. So what this does is it breaks the hydrogen from these bonds and these hydrogens will go and sit with this carbon. It will break the, the double helix into a single chain molecule which will destroy the DNA's nature thereby making the cancer cells not able to replicate or reproduce or generate more in number. So this has a potential of being used as a cancer drug. 
So the right, the dye radical produced takes hydrogen from double stranded DNA by breaking its hydrogen bonds, thereby cleaving it and rendering the cancer cells unable to multiply. So that is the end of this video. And that is how Bergman cyclization takes place. I hope this video helped you in understanding this reaction, its mechanism. It's a very beautiful reaction from the point of view of chemistry and a very useful reaction too. And an amazing reaction, a cyclic molecule becoming not only cyclic but also aromatic. So I'll be seeing you in the next couple of videos and I hope this video helps you in whatever way it can. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel to get more videos of this and the intimation at the right time. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching.